Okay, I have two tanks here. I would like you to run to what you think is hostile. Tanks? So I'll just Tanks. form a line. Quickly, three, two, one, go. No more discussion. This is the one you would engage if you saw a roll up on you. Okay, stop. Freeze. Talon, yeah. All right. Um, half of you were right. <laughs> and he's not going to tell us which. Which one. half? This is the friendly tank. Da da da. They are we both win. EADBs. They ha only have a different camo scheme, and only then, even slightly. This is the importance of IFF, of identifying your foe, of making sure you know what they look like, what the camouflage scheme is, um, their enemy composition. So it's the same thing as in, uh... Their favorite food. Their Here, check this out. DRDM2. Right? It's check. DRDM2. It looks like he's smiling at us. <laughs> well, I mean, one has this big check flag on it, so it's not exactly as easy to confuse. But do you see? Yep. The big check so flag? Do you see yes. at range that check flag? No, it's we yes. can't. It's, it's all nice and red. Friendly. I mean, for the most part, yes. <laughs> there you go. The little but things, the identification markings, like, uh, ah, here we go. That's the obviously CSAT, right? Yep. BMP1, obviously CSAT, right? Yeah. Hey, firm. Hmm. <laughs> This Sorry, I'm okay, American. What about this That's one? all Soviet block. I shoot it with a javelin. That's uh, I believe either Afghani or this looks, this like, looks like Iran. Iran. Yeah, I was going to say I might have said Israel. I'm not sure. Israel doesn't have BMPs. Okay, yep. would you shoot it? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It shoots at me. Yes. Yeah. This one, yeah. yeah. Probably. Probably shooting a friendly. This is a BMP one of the Iraqi armed forces. And oh, guess what? That's a it's friendly. Soviet block, I shoot it, I don't care if it's Iraq. Okay, it this way, I did not know that the Iraqi were friendly in this situation, so yeah. yeah. The Iraqi I friendly? Either. Yeah, I would shoot at it. It looks like a Republican guard deal. I've been to Iraq, <laughs> Iraqis aren't that friendly, trust me. And then, boom, China Russians, right? They've got a yellow star instead of a red. Who? That marking I recognize, I wouldn't fire on that Who one. Who is that? Oh, God, Generous, fictional, uh... Former East Bloc country. Uh oh. I'm, I'm not so sure the cam with I'm not every. sure the, the camouflage is the problem. I'm pretty sure that a lot of these guys don't know the difference between friendly and enemy anyway. No, no, they don't. Vehicle but, um, identification, you know, they don't even know the difference between a BMP one and a BMP two. Correct. No, the difference is the BMP one kills you. BMP two kills you harder. That's really all it is if you're an infantryman. Yeah, um, if you're I mean, like, the yes. difference between, like, check it out, look, the difference between, you know, American and Western tanks, fairly obvious, right? Mm-hmm. Mm but if I were to put down a T-90, you know, it's can you tell the difference between a T-90? No, no, would you be able to tell the difference between a T-90 and a, and a T-72, M4CZ, at, no, you know, yes, two or three kilometers? Well, can. Yeah, me yes. as well. It's my job, Rob actually. Can't because he's a fucking scout. No, average person cannot determine the difference between these three tanks, and I've seen this before. You cannot determine the difference between these three tanks in foliage, mostly covered, at range. I mean, the Abrams is pretty obvious, I would say, personally. Now, this is the problem, though. When you compare an Abrams and a Leo 1, put a Leo 1 out. Or a Leo 2. We don't have Leos in armor. They would look the same, Dicker. Oh, well. Yeah, Just a Leo 2 the, is the way you the tell the difference between a T-72 and a T-90 is that when the T-90 fires, you hear this. That's it. That's an Akuma. Actually, 
There's a lot of big oh, difference between you, between a T90 and a T72. It would be much easier if all the Russian tanks had to play the Russian national anthem at all times. Damn, this thing is huge. What the hell is this? See, now this is more understandable. You get those two mixed up. Yeah, but that's a, that's because it's a, it's a base game tank that wasn't designed to look like other Soviet tanks because ah, because Bohemia directed our absolute axe. No, oh, wait, the the left left one, it's an up armored letter the two. What the hell are you talking about? Evolution. I could have sworn that was a T10. No, that's a Leopard 2 Evolution, the left one. Yeah, it's Copy. Say, both friendly, right? Both of these are friendly. It is a yeah, friendly, it's um, German. Whoa. I feel like we're going to be doing this IFF and then suddenly the airstrike's going to turn up and we're all going to die. I want a frigate to shoot. A uh, Waffle. Since you have cup vehicles, is there an M48, is there a pattern available to spawn in? M60, I think it is. Oh, good god. Alright, out of the leopard, please. Yeah, can we do left foot? Fucking, of course it's Signore. <laughs> yeah, that's a T55, isn't it? Oh I'm not gonna god. fault somebody for making that mistake in spur of the moment, though. I would. They don't look nothing alike. That's an M60, right there. M60 3 PTS. Alright, tell the M60 to stop. The easiest way to tell the M60 and the difference is because Russian tanks of that era, look at the tracks. Spread them out a little bit, Wolfo. Look, you see this track? Suspended track, supported. Put the T55 yep. over here. Look at the track. Christie's <laughs> suspension track. Doesn't match at all. Look at the turret. Handrails, all of it. Different, wrong. Bore evacuator at the end of the barrel. Bore evacuator, <laughs> middle of the barrel. They are nothing alike. <laughs> also, this is from an actual army. ground scout from the United States Army. That there really you go. There's your lesson for the day. Ralph, icing on the cake right up here. Commander's <laughs> cupola. It, it, it looks like a. Yep, Commander's cupola. Cold. Guess what? Yeah. Opposite sides of the turret. Also, that one doesn't have so much worry about you not um, identifying it as a pattern as I was you shooting point, it anyway. You Russians usually use these little things out here in the back. Only the Russians. You mean the fuel barrel things? Fuel barrels, and sometimes they use a log. A log? Yes, yeah, they yeah, use a log. He's absolutely right. Yeah, you, he's okay, absolutely right. The back, okay, the, the front of tanks look fairly similar quite often. The backs of two different nations' tanks will never look alike. And he's damn near right. I don't really have a problem telling the difference Even, even the side profile. Real quick, here, j uh, jump off the uh, M60. Wolfel, this is all stuff that I'm gonna be writing about. Five. Just out of curiosity, guys, do you guys know the difference between 5.56 ammo being fired at even distance and 7.62? What's ammo? I do. Depends on the distance. The crack and I also know what 50 cal no, sounds like fired at you as well. I know you would, Ralph, but I'm trying to just Ralph, gauge that's just about the suspended what people actually tracks. understand and what they don't. Tanks that we have in armor. No, I can teach you. Watch. If Wolfel, what is, oh. Okay, who knows what that is? That's easy. No idea. It's a tank. T90? What kind? Oh, T90. No, 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 look at the front real quick. It's a T80. That's a T80UB from the looks yep, of it. Yeah, T80UE1. Oh, I was right. Woo! There you go. T no, put it back, put it back. I'm showing them something. Drop me a T72, a T80, and a T90 right here with all these you got. Let's back up and give them the space to do it. Mm-hmm. Do you have any preference on variation? Because I've got everything from T90, T90, A, B, C, D, E. It I've would got be the nice if you just give me... And then the 2020 version. If you give me the, base, the base twice. model, the base model, I can show you the differences. And then just yeah, all you gotta the realize... Yeah, and then uh, just the right of it that advanced. Yep. All you gotta realize is it's the same thing. It's just, I mean, they're gonna put add-on armor. Same. That's all it is. Coming back to a point, point about 7.62 or 556, if it was at distance, I would much rather be shot at with 556 than 762. Doesn't which tank is which? Okay. Hey, man, I don't know which tank is which. Alright. This tank T72, here, this is blue arrow. T72. 
Yeah, that's what I was yep. going And I'm going to show you the identifying it. marks. First, look at the front of this. What do you see that's on that? You see that big V in the front of it? Also... Yes, pointy arrow right on the side. Yes. Front. Oh, yeah. That is the splash guard so that when the tank hits water, it doesn't run straight up and go straight into the driver's hole, which is literally right there behind it. The V-shaped splash guard is a T-62 dead giveaway, or T-72 dead giveaway. Okay. Actually, T-50 as well, kind of. No, I'll show you the difference. Look it's at the a turret. flat bar on the uh, T-55. Yeah. yeah, it's a flat bar. If you look at the turret, flat in the front. that's flat, It's the turret's flat, and but it's rounded, see it? Mm -hmm. It's not angular, it doesn't have an angular look to the actual turret itself. Looks really now, when we, shittily finished. Now, the T-72s, which you can't see here, also have a Christie track suspension as well. The track sits on top of these road wheels. You just can't see it because of the thing. Or at least it should. Or actually, that's a, that rubber skirt's supposed to deal with uh, heat rounds, isn't it? Oh, I don't know about all that. The next tank we okay. got is the T-90A. Alright. I don't know. This is the T-80 right here, right? Nope, T-90A. That's a 90. Here, what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to bring the tanks up when you ask for them. Alright, oh, so the okay. first... So, one of the f identifying marks of the T-90 is if you look... At the so this here is a T-90A. Go ahead, Ralph. If you IR are Dazzlers. If you look at the front, the you've got those two uh, almost looks like infrared lights. Uh, typically, the T90 always has two on either mm -hmm. side of the gun. Right. Sure? Those are called IR dazzlers, or what those are. Also, the cannon has the. It just looks IR different dazzlers. than any so of the other I'm assuming one. those are meant to be IR countermeasures, then. Yes, they are. And what they do is they emit almost like a big, very bright pulse, like um, a strobe. And Ralph, so, you forgot to tell them where to shoot at, uh, because the Russians actually put ammo at the middle of the yep. chassis. Yep. Always shoot there. So shoot center mass on a Russian tank. Yep. On the sides, yeah. On the sides, yeah, you want to shoot. Shoot right the hole right under the turret. Right there, yeah, that's it. You see where the where the turret yeah where the turret turn or the actual hole goes up into the body? Perfect. That's where you want it right yeah right there. Yep. They still ammo there. The only one that doesn't still ammo like this anymore is the T40 Armada. Yeah, the T14 Armada. The yep, T14 one. Armada and the 140 Angara. Yep. Yeah, the new one. Oh, something else I missed, uh, I meant to mention. If you look at the road wheels, you see these road wheels down here? One, there's six of them. See how they're evenly spaced? Drop me an Abrams over there. Somewhere. <laughs> Wolfel. You see how these kind of look like they're... What they are, they're stamped out of metal. They're all one piece, right? <coughs> mm -hmm. If you look at the Abrams, you see how they're made into individual pieces. You have the hub and then the rim, and then the rim is on to the split wheel as well. They're multiple pieces. Russian ones are all one piece, as you see. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to say this. If you're close enough to a tractor, you can so you can see the rims on its wheels. You should probably start running. Either is that, that or you've got good optics. Well, if you're close enough to a tank that you can, you can see its rim wheels, it's too late to run anyway. Actually, exactly. that's a good point about uh, being closer to a tank is actually safer than being further away. If you There's get low enough, the tank can't depress its gun to shoot at you. Hey, firm. Yeah. Yes, that and if you correct. run away from a tank, that is one race you're not going to win. And you say that if you're that close to see the rims, then you're wrong? Let me tell you something. Every one of you here is absolutely wrong. What is the first thing that heats up when a tank moves? Rims. So guess what? What glows and you can tell the difference in true thermals between that wheel and that wheel? Keep in mind okay, that yeah. with Ace, the tanks create overpressure zones that can knock us out and kill us if uh, they fire over us. Get out of the tanks, I'm locking all of them. Yeah. Another thing, this is the T-90. Another thing about it, look at the angular turret. You see how it's kind of flat on the sides? 
but the front nose of it is kind of a angular, like a wedge that comes out. That's the uh, Contact 5 ERA blocks, isn't it? Negative, not all of them. Some of it is, but not all of it is. It looks like the ERA blocks are placed onto what's essentially sloped armor on the front of the turrets. Right, that's the sloped armor on the front of the turrets, just like Sherman said. Be advised, though, there's a T-72 upgrade. It actually looks like this. Yeah, T-72 knees. Uh, yep, I'm gonna try and find it. It's the M4CZ, uh, right? But look, uh, no. Try to find the Russian T-72Bs. Can we not just put flags on them? They're like that. Uh, Good. Love that one. Exactly. That is but, really but, like because it doesn't have the two eyes. But, but look at one one key factor. You see the searchlight on the side here? Big yeah. difference is those two lights. You have to know all these things. So this new tank is a T-72 upgrade. This one, the right one is in the upgrade. This one's the T-90. So T-90 Another thing to note, T90 that T-90 turret, yeah. turret, is that automated? Not the, uh, the, uh, the commander's turret. Good question, I don't know. The big, know. uh, it's is a cord, it? I think. Yes, it is automated, if I'm not mistaken. The, the, both the okay, the T-70, T-72, T-80, uh, and T-90 tanks all share the same autoloader. Uh, the autoloader is a carousel of ammunition directly below the fighting compartment. It is lifted up on a carousel and then pushed into the barrel of the gun where a charge is then placed after. All you need is a loader, a gunner, or I'm sorry, a, a driver, a gunner, a commander. Yeah, what I was referring to was the MG on top of the commander's cupola. You can see the T-90 has um, basically an automated uh, gun sight system, whereas the one on the T-72 is a oh, yeah, manned gun. I think the original design didn't have it, but they upgraded since. Yeah, that's the T-98-2006. Let me see if I can find the 2003 version. Uh, nope, the 1992 version has it as well. What I was going for is, as far as I'm aware, both the T-80 and the M1 Abrams use turbine engines. Yeah, that too. <laughs> that the T-80 is not the only one to rush into use uh, turbines. T90 uses them turbine as well. Are you firm? So and so the thing, T14. And so the if I'm not mistaken, version. the Leo 2 uses it. Um, the Leo 2 the is important diesel. thing to note oh, about is that it? is that a turbine engine is constantly running and has a jet exhaust. So on the Abrams, it's out the back. So you can't take hover behind an active M1 Abrams or you'll get cooked. Is this no, it keeps you warm when it's negative 25 outside. Uh, does the game actually model that? No, it does so. not, unfortunately. What is this tank here? Let me put it like this. On my M60 A3 TTS, we cooked eggs on the exhaust. Best tank of the Second World War, in my opinion. Right, okay. I mean... <laughs> Alright. How do you have all your brain cells? I'm sorry, but dude, you're cooking that on shit on the exhaust. Anyway, coming yeah. back to tanks here. This tank here... I believe this is a T-34-85, which yeah, is still in use in some parts of the world today, actually. Dude, that's a relic. Yeah, so yeah, apparently in Egypt they use T-34. Yeah, 7 to the side, no problem. Dude, a grenade, a 40 millimeter grenade can disable this. Hey guys, can you just leave me for a second, because I just want to test this more, so about one kilometer. Oh, I have fucking hell! Um, Alright, stop shooting you, the tanks, come look at the World War II tank. If you look um, at the tracks on the T-34, between the very front uh, sprocket and the front drive wheel, you see that little little bit of metal that's on the hull? Uh, that was a bodge that the Russians put in that effectively, as the track goes past, hammers the track pins back in. Because yes. on Western <laughs> tanks, the, they had very complicated mechanisms for keeping the track pins in, the Russians just put a bit of metal there, so every time the tracks go past, it hammers the pin back in. Because the pins kept falling out. Nice. That is the most Russian thing I've heard in a while. That's pretty cool. Yes, the, the T-34 is... The reason it's my favourite tank of the Second World War, in terms of effectiveness, is how 
beautifully simple it is. It gets the job done. It was not designed to survive very long because nope. they knew no it would get shot Negative before it broke level. down. No Again, oh, geez, no press pass to leave. Again, these things are so effective that they are still being used in second line service. Yeah. Yeah. Who's bleeding? Now, they are like, like, is this a D? North Korea has something like 1,300 of them. You got a T-54-55? Yeah, T-34-85. T-34 with the 85mm gun. Well, I gotta go as well, so have fun, guys. See ya. But yeah, so yeah, this, thing this is like one of the last standing so World War II era tanks that's still in service in some capacity, since the M4 was recently decommissioned from its final service. Who was still using the M4? Uh, Venezuelan hey, National uh, Presidential Guard was actually using them. Okay. How do you know that? <laughs> they were recently uh, decommissioned. So, yeah, the M4 is now finally completely out of service. I'm used to being the tank nerd full of all the useless facts. I've been upstage. So, uh, oh, you're the tank nerd, Talon? <laughs> I, compared to all the people I know IRL, I'm the tank nerd. I come so, here, I'm not I, let, let, me, let, me, let, let me ask you one question. T-54-55, what's the only difference between those two tanks, do you know? The 54 and the 55. Come on. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Uh... I'm gonna have come to on, pass. Come on, come on, you get the bazooka in the face. <laughs> He's gonna 84. get you. He's gonna get you. AT4. Now here, the bore, the bore evacuator question. is the only difference. Does anybody <laughs> know what the caliber of the AT4 is? AT4 is uh, yeah. on three millimeter. AT4. Yeah. It's eighty-four yeah. millimeter. Yeah. Oh. M one thirty-six AT4. Eighty-four. Yes. Oh. Here's a question, how do you use the spray paint?